This is Lake Mead, used for recreation like boating, but it's also where water is stored from the Colorado River for states like California, Nevada, Arizona, and Mexico to use. But the lake is at its lowest level since it was filled back in the 1930s, and for the first time ever, a water shortage has been declared. I'm Sarah Pila on a boat in Lake Mead, where I'll show you how a combination of decades-long drought, climate change, and overuse of the Colorado River system is jeopardizing the water supply in the West. This white line is the bathtub ring around Lake Mead. It's a constant reminder for Boating Lake Mead's Director of Operations, Bruce Nelson. The lake is at a historically low 1,067 feet above sea level, affecting boat launch ramps and his customers. Now they're down to one or two lanes and you might have to wait a while and that, 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 that's problematic for, for boaters trying to get out and enjoy themselves or get off the lake and go home. Bruce's grandparents built the family-run marina back in 1957, but the launch ramps weren't designed for the water's current level. Now, boaters can wait up to three hours to get in or out of the water. The National Park Service extends the launch ramps, but as the water levels keep dropping, Bruce has to keep moving the marina, a big investment in time and money. We have to add power and sewer and water and lift stations and all these things that nobody sees that have to exist for the marina to be there. The nation's largest reservoir provides drinking water to 25 million people, but decades of drought have caused record low levels, prompting the Bureau of Reclamation to declare its first ever water shortage for 2022. Lower Colorado Basin Region Public Affairs Officer Patty Aaron says climate change is exacerbating the problem. Temperatures are higher, uh, faster than we expected. Um, the soil moisture is extremely low uh, in the upper basins. That means snow melt seeps into the parched soil rather than running off into the Colorado River and into Lake Mead. The low water level is hurting Hoover Dam's hydropower, producing 25% less than usual. Patty says communities need to work together to combat the problem. Collaboration is key. The Colorado River is the lifeblood of, this, of the Southwest and everybody is working towards a solution as opposed to fighting. The Southern Nevada Water Authority serves more than 2 million residents. It had to make serious changes after using more than its allotment of Colorado River water back in 2002. The agency's Deputy General Manager of Resources, Colby Pellegrino, says conservation programs today allow them to return water to Lake Mead. Today, we're taking less water from the Colorado River than we did in 2002. We're using less water per capita by almost 50%, and uh, we've added 750,000 people in the meantime. Now, Colby has set her sights on improving water efficiency in agriculture, which consumes about 80% of the Colorado River's water. But she knows eventually there will be a limit to how much you can conserve and how many people you can provide for. We have to be realistic about what the flows of the river are when we're making all of these projections of what we need to do to get there. And I think that may be a struggle, is really getting our hands around what those climate change projections look like. Climate change is creating uncertainty, making it harder to predict snowfall and what Lake Mead will look like in the decades ahead. So Bruce says to save this water supply for generations to come, it's up to all states who depend on the Colorado River to conserve. It'd be nice to see the same regulations that are in Las Vegas, such as you know when you water your lawn, how much lawn you're allowed to have, buying back lawn and putting in desert landscaping. It would be nice to see that happen in other states too, where you don't see the lowering lake level, you just turn your faucet on and water's there. But he hopes that water consciousness can be enough to avoid the lake's level from falling further, risking more water cuts and exposing more of the bathtub ring, an unavoidable truth that the West is drying up.